Hey Photo Pixel and welcome back to the channel and if you've not been here before welcome to the channel. I just want to go over a few things in today's uh, program. Some of them it's going to be a quick review about a think tank bag that I picked up from the photography show of 2018 and just uh, one or two little bits of photography news that's up and coming very soon. Now the first thing I want to reflect on is a new firmware update that's coming out in May of 2018 for all Fuji X cameras. So if you're not a Fuji user, move on past this section and uh, go straight to the review. Um, if you'd also like to put any information about up and coming firmwares for any of the other cameras that you guys shoot with, please, please put it in the notes below or nip over to the Facebook page. Uh, drop me a Facebook message and I shall copy and paste and credit you guys for that information. It's basically gonna, it's gonna be absolutely amazing. Still, what I love about Fuji is they don't forget about their older products and they are actually bringing out for a load of different cameras. So let's just have a quick run through it, the cameras they're actually bringing it out for. So the firmware announcements are firmware updates are for the X-H1, the X-T2, the X-Pro2, the X-E3 and the X-100F all coming soon. And they're all going to do various things but obviously the one that's more interesting to me is the X-T2 so I'm going to find that and I'm just going to have a quick run through. So the update will enable the photographer to shoot focus distance bracketing up to 999 frames. When the photographer starts shooting, the focal location is shifted with each uh, activation of the shutter by the step of focus shift set from one to 10. Now, I think what that actually means is that you're gonna be able to basically focus stack up. So you're gonna take so one shot, then you'll take another one and another one. And what you'll do is you'll bracket that. Much like when you do an HDR, you'll set your bracketing from, I think it's, uh, if I remember, I think it's a maximum of nine, I think. I don't really use it that much, but it's there if you need it. And I think you can set it to nine. Well, with this, you could set it from naught to 99 or one to 99. So that's very cool. And the next thing is compatibility with the newly developed cinema lens, a Fujion MKX 18-55mm and a T2.9 T lens and Fujion's MXX 50-135mm T2.9 lens. So if that makes any sense to you, congratulations because... <laughs> and uh, the next one... Let's have a look at what we've got here. Enlarged and customizable indications or information. The update allows users to enlarge indications and information in the viewfinder and or LCD monitor. The upgrade will also enable users to customize the location of where the information is shown on the display. So I guess that means that if you want your uh, shutter speed to be quite bold and up, then you can make that larger and you can also put it in a different part of your viewfinder or of your uh, back screen. And obviously with anything else, aperture. And I'm hoping, hoping that I'll be able to move my exposure meter from the left hand side to the bottom. Just how I used to it when I shot Canon and I think it's more... Yeah, just so it's a little bit more uh, user friendly from the bottom. It's a bit more like, I feel, a camera should be although I am getting used to it and if I changed it would it affect the way I shoot in any way shape or form the good thing is it's going to be able to give me that option I hope right number four addition of F log SD card recording now at the moment you can only F log into an external source and not into the SD card well from the update onwards you're going to be able to do that now this is this is brilliant. I absolutely love this. Uh, so thank you Fuji for this. Um, addition of 1080 and 120p high speed video mode. The upgrade allows users to shoot 1080 120p high speed video, one half, one quarter, and one fifth speed slow motion. <laughs> Idea there. 
for recording spectacular slow motion footage. Thank you, Fuji. Enhanced phase detection autofocus. Now, a latest update to the AF algorithm provides the following performance enhancements. Low light limit for phase detection autofocus has been improved by approximately 1.5 stops from 0.5 EV to 1.0 EV. So, and, and this goes on, I'm not going to read all that, no way. <laughs> so if you want to see it, all you need to do is I'll put a link in the bottom and of Fujifilm's uh, update and that's basically where it's going to be. Number seven, addition of flicker reduction for enhancing the quality of indoor sports photography. The upgrade allows users to reduce flicker in pictures and the display when shooting under fluorescent lighting and other similar light sources. Eight, addition of select folder and create folder and enables the user to choose the folder in which subject pictures will be stored. And also is enabled to uh, enter a five character folder name to create a new folder in which the stores subsequent pictures. So you know more of me than that. But then you've got the X-Pro2 and it goes on and on and on. But you really, really need to find the camera that most interests you or what you shoot with uh, on the Fuji website and just bang on. Job done. Right, now on to the second section. Reviews. Now this is a great little item I managed to pick up at the photography show this year, 2018. I've got a little bit of information. It's called a retrospective lever seven sandstone. Now seven is its capacity and sandstone is obviously its color. Now it retailed at 208 pounds, including VAT. Uh, and it just basically says this Rep's perspective range has been created for the photographer who wants to blend in with the crowd, remaining inconspicuous, the look of a feel of old school camera bag and infused with a new school feature of technology for the digital image imaging age. Soft supple fibers confirm to your body. Mm, I'm not too sure about that. Uh, but uh, I actually paid £105 for this at the, at the show. Not too sure on what it's retailing at the moment. So I think we should just have a quick look. Because I never believe what I get when you go to some of these shows yet. I love a bargain. But let's just have a quick look and get some information. So yeah, looking here, you can get it at on eBay for £109. You can get it at Harrison Cameras for £109. You can get it at Clifton Cameras for £129. And let's just see what Amazon are going to do it for for us. Amazon, they're looking at Think Tank Pro um, Retrospective 7. Now they also do it in pine stone, that's 109, and the sandstone is 139.97. And the one that I've got with the leather, Think Tank um, 7 shoulder bag is 208 pound. So wow, I think I got a bit of a bargain there after all said and done, because they also do the pine stone one, which has no leather on the top, and also a sandstone one with no leather on the top. So, and there it is again for £233. Ooh, I think I did get a bargain. So it just goes to show that when you're at these shows, snap the bargain up while you can. The good thing was at the photography show, we had Wi-Fi, it weren't the best, and I did not check. I basically just jumped in feet first, and it's the first time that I've actually looked to see if I got a bargain, and it looks like, yeah, I did. So let's just have a quick look at this bag. What do I love about it? Well, one, it is very comfortable to wear and it is a little bit of a godsend, to be honest. And you get a few other things in there. You get a little, you get quite a few bits, actually. So this is what I love, the fact that I can just hang my um, GoFriend. <laughs> if you've not seen it, there's a review on the GoFriend. Uh, and remember, 
if you are interested in the go friend it's only weatherproof waterproof it's not water resistant if you do drop it in water it's going to get wet inside what I love about this bag is that this is on a strap so you're never going to lose you get a carabiner with your go friend case um, but you can because it's on this clip you can literally just clip it on and clip it off it's not a problem perfect so that's attached stitched in to the lining of the case the other thing I love about Think Tank is the walls, the side walls. Let me get in here, see if I can just get in here with a GoPro things. Is you see this line in here, well that is made out of the the things that you would attach. Let's just move this. This is a uh, weather bag, so you just stick that over the top and you're away. Yeah, but this, oh, let's get this out of the way as well. That's extra. Um, wall side wall in partitioning so this this wall the wall in of the bag is actually the velcro so you can make make it whatever you want the size you want so if I just want to put one big lens in here in a bag I can take all that out so then what else have we got in this section this is a great great little thing here look so you've got look how strong it is so you've got many little secret pockets you can actually put a laptop in that goes in there I think it's a let's just have a look 11 inch MacBook Air fits in there and a zip pocket I'm just going to go over a couple of these things now um, it carries one standard DSLR plus two to three small lenses and accessories Compatible mirrorless or rangefinder system, three to six lenses plus accessories. iPad or 11 inch MacBook Air fits in the rear zipped pocket. Mm. Accommodates a Nikon D700 plus 24 to 70 f2.8 attached, 70 to 200 f2.8 D dis attached, and an SB900 speed light flash. And I can well believe it does now. I can well believe that actually works. So yeah, um, there's so many pockets. I'm just gonna let you guys investigate this. So we've got a pocket in there. Got a pocket in there. Um, we've got pockets in there and zips. We've got pen holders. We've got pen holders. And many other pockets and zips in there. This is the situation I've made. I've, I have my main body in there with a lens attached. I have a lens in there and that's always going to be for foundation kit. And it's also going to have a polarizing filter attached to it. And it's also got my grad filters in there and my big stopper and little stopper. They are all in there. One of the things I actually do enjoy about this bag is that versatility of it is you can have it as a shoulder bag, but you can also have it as like a briefcase carrying style bag and uh, it's got a very very good clasp on the bottom let's just see if you can see that and the other thing i do like about it is when you store the strap away like that to keep it so it's not just flopping about basically it's just a little bit of velcro there look you just attach it and it just folds away nicely Keep in mind guys that you can also purchase a version of this bag without the lever which brings the cost down quite a lot. Now the lever is very smart and I do enjoy it because it's going to be really hard wearing. But uh, well, does that justify paying the 200 to 250 pound price tag that the leather one has? No I don't think so. Maybe look into buying the one without the leather. Uh, I was lucky I got that bargain price of £105 from Photography Show. So I hope you have enjoyed this episode of uh, my reviewing page, which I'm hoping to try and get a review out every midweek fortnightly. Uh, up and coming uh, video this weekend is me back at Braggart Park trying to catch a sunrise. Uh, I've been itching to get this one up uh, because it was one that I wanted to do. Uh, redo I wanted to redo this video because I got a copyright infringement on the original one which meant they cut the audio totally so there was a nice video with some nice pictures 
but uh, there was uh, no audio so I had to take it down. That was when I was starting out on YouTube and did not understand uh, what the copyright music was all about. But I explained that in the video anyway that should be out this weekend, maybe Saturday, maybe Friday night. So with that in mind, I'm going to go downstairs, I'm going to watch a episode of The Walking Dead, sup some tea and eat a hot glazed croissant. <laughs> Cheers guys. Oh, don't forget, get out and shoot, you know you want to. <laughs> See you next time. Cheers.